Data classification is another one that we tend to see a lot of orgs, you know, in a longer term sense. You know, that's not when we look at, as we'll get into a little later, so to the, the pathway of prioritization and evolution to attain an optimal zero trust state. Data classification is often one of those last miles because it is such a cultural uh, difference in how they've operated as a business uh, in a longer term sense and getting into that mindset and that culture as a company of saying every piece of data we create should have some sort of classification to it. Doesn't every, mean everything's top secret, uh, so certainly far from that, but it does mean everything has to have a label applied so that we can decide, you know, let's know that this exists, certainly, but then also let's decide what does that classification imply about the level of security that's to be associated with it. When we're setting up our policies based on what users are trying to do and, and measuring against all those variables, how much do we want to let, look at the data classification itself as a measurable variable uh, that decides whether that user in their state and the device that they're on all marries up to something we want to allow or block or be aware of or control for, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm.